I will show you three ways to move your Dobsonian properly. One is perfect, another one is so-so and another one is bad. I will also give you a bonus one which many of you use but it's not perfect to me. And let's talk about that bonus one. Wheels. Many of you use wheels, some kind of transport with wheels to move your Dobsonian from the start place to outside the observing place. And using wheels, there are two ways to do it. One, attaching the wheels to the rocker, fixing them with screws under the base. And another one is to use some kind of trolley. From those two options with wheels, I will choose the trolley. The fixing wheels are jerky and even if you lock them in a surface like mine with height inclination, it's not very stable. Besides, I use an equatorial platform always with my Dobsonians, thus the use of wheels will be cumbersome to place the Dobsonian over the equatorial platform. Nonetheless, if you have a flat surface from the place you store the Dobsonian and the place where you observe, the trolley is a good solution even with an equatorial platform because with no effort you can slide the telescope outside and then just lift and place it over the equatorial platform. It's a perfect one, but not for everybody. I can't use that solution because my surface is not flat. I can't go with the dolly outside, at least for now, how the things are in my house now. By the way, I'm interested to know how you carry your telescope outside. Put me in the comments what's the best way for you. So I have to use other solutions. Number one, to lift all at once. This is a very simple and quick solution I use from the moment I bought the 18-inch Dobsonian, but it's horrible. Because even with the handles in the rocker, a must-have modification to your Dobsonian. And as you can see, I can easily lift the telescope and place it outside. The problem with this solution is when you getting down to grab the telescope. That's how one of these days I hurt my back doing that position to lifting all the setup. So I changed and moved to the number two. Carry the telescope in two parts. First the tube, which I can handle and place in vertical on the floor, thanks to my other very important mod where I attach it three legs to the cell of the mirror, allowing me to place it vertically without messing with the collimation knobs, and then moving the rocker with the handles, which are very useful to move it all the way. If you feel you're getting value from this video, give a thumbs up to spread it and help more people all over the world. The reason that solution isn't perfect for me, it's because moving the tube with both ends, if there's due, you jeopardize the stability of that movement with the hands. Fortunately, never happened to me, but I always thinking that. And also, when you grab the telescope, you tend to grab it on the top and that makes some pressure over the spiders. I really don't like that. So I moved towards the perfect solution for me. Number three, use a belt. Yes, a simple belt with a buckle, as I use with my 12-inch Dobsonian. Actually, with my 12-inch, I had to use two belts and I still use them, the same belts as from the beginning when I bought the 12-inch Dobsonian. So I already have the proof that they work fine. However, in the 8-inch tube, you only need one belt, one at the bottom, like you're watching right now. With this belt, not only I can grab easily the tube and place it also easily over the rocker, but also I win in the weight because having this balanced in two points, in both ends, the weight is distributed, turning it a much more easier way to transport. And this is just one of many important mods I made to my 18-inch Dobsonian and that you can also make checking this video right here where you can learn how to improve and boost your performance. I meet you there.